let me begin by showing you the assembly I've been working with lately. Now I've finished the initial design phase, but now I need to test it to make sure it's going to be strong enough. You join me just as I'm weighing up my options on how to go about that. My name's Grant Davidson and a very warm welcome to today's webinar. Now let's get a look at our options. So first up, we could go with no testing whatsoever. Not recommended though, because history has shown it's not particularly kind to engineering structures. Some of you may recall the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, also known as Galloping Gertie. Second option, we could subcontract, you know, but ultimately we're gonna need to pass this cost onto the customer. So we might not be as competitive price-wise, or we take the hit and it's gonna hurt our bottom line, which is not ideal. At an average cost of around about £1,800, we might need five or six studies. It's very quickly going to add up for us. Now, we could have some old school physical models built and test those, but there's the environmental aspect to consider of doing that these days. And prototypes aren't cheap. So again, costs are going to add up taking that route. Finally, how about using SolidWorks simulation? Well, like any other method, it's going to have some reservations. Let's explore them. So you may be thinking, we are not ready to make that sort of investment. Well, there is a misconception that simulation is very expensive to get started with. The reality is, it's no more expensive than a typical phone contract each month at around about £40, depending on your current package. That includes full support as well. Another reservation may be that you're not a simulation expert, but that's okay, because SolidWorks simulation, as you'll see, is intuitive and easy to get to grips with. On top of that, it's designed for engineers and not necessarily just simulation specialists. Another maybe that you haven't had training. Well, that's easily addressed, either by joining in on one of our certified instructor-led courses or through self-paced learning. But enough on that. Let's get back to the design work that we've got in hand here. Now, what I'd like to do is show you how we can create a study from scratch. So let's create a new static study for this assembly. We'll pull out the tree and we'll start setting it up. First up, let me add in my fixtures. Now in this case, we're only going to have a fixture at the top, which is the reality of this design in real life. Next up, let's get our load applied. I'll choose the face where it's going to be applied to, and I'll also choose the direction it's going to go in. So in my case, of course, I'll choose the top plane, and that way it's going to emulate this load being pushed towards the top of this shock assembly. Now one of the big benefits of using a simulation package which is embedded into SolidWorks is it will automatically take all my material information from my pre-existing assemblies. So there's no need to re-add them and we can tell this study to go ahead and run. Now once complete we automatically get all our result sets shown to us. Now a good tip here, go ahead and animate those results right off the bat. And the reason that we do that is to make sure that the assembly is deforming as we would expect. Once we confirm that, let's jump straight in to the stress plot, which is the one that we're really interested in here. So let me pull my chart down just to aid my visibility, and we'll maybe even get a little bit of zoom here just so we can get a good idea of what's going on. So right away, I can start to see I've got some red areas around that lower bolt mounting. Now that tells me that I've got a problem here. Now what that's indicating to us is that it's exceeding the yield strength of the material. Or to put that into more basic terms, the material is breaking at that point. So we're gonna need to address that. Now of course, I could just add more material, beef that up, and that way it would make it stronger. But that's a really inefficient way of working. Instead, what I'm going to do is utilize a SOLIDWORKS simulation design study, which will aim to one, make the parts safe, and two, keep it as lightweight as possible. Let's start by adding in our variable, which is going to be the three millimeter dimension of this lower mounting bolt hole. We'll bring this in and let's say we're willing to have it between five and 10 millimeters, and let's progress in one millimeter steps. Now, as for the constraint, First and foremost, this stress is a problem. We need to get this stress down. So I'll go ahead and stipulate that I need the stress to be less than 16. Now remember, the goal here is to keep it as lightweight as possible. So we'll tell the design study to minimize the mass as well. Once we've run that design study, we get a variety of different sizes, each classed as a separate scenario. Now the beauty of these is we can go ahead and choose each separate scenario 
and review that same stress result independently as the size changes. Now what you'll also notice is it's automatically plucked out the optimal size for us. 6mm seems to satisfy both the stress and keeps it as lightweight as possible. Now by just choosing that, it automatically updates my SOLIDWORKS model as well. So in our design study, we chose to minimise the mass to keep it as lightweight as possible and we also constrained the stress. But I also wanted to highlight that we're not limited to just these quantities. Of course, the likes of displacement and strain can be brought in, but we can also go much deeper and start to bring in things like thermal loads or even frequency modes. Returning back to our top level assembly, a mountain bike in this case, we can note that the rear suspension assembly is now using all the new optimised sizes automatically. And we can be sure that it's not going to fail anytime soon. Not bad for 10 minutes work. Now before we close, let me leave you with two key points. Number one is, it may be a lot less expensive to get started with SOLIDWORKS simulation than you expected. From around about £40 per month, you could be testing and optimising your own designs. Number two is you don't need to be a simulation specialist to use it. SOLIDWORKS simulation is virtual prototyping made for engineers and designers. As a thank you for attending, from me to you, I've gone ahead and emailed you over some instructions as to how you can set up your very own design studies and start optimising your own designs. That same document includes most of the information that I've included in this webinar. But of course, if you have any questions whatsoever or you'd like to find out how simulation could be used for your specific application, please do get in touch. But for now, have a great day and thank you once again for attending. Mm -hmm.